Hello guys, this is Afrin. Today we are going to see something new about how to fabricate an RC aircraft using simple connections what we have seen in the last video. If you have not watched the previous video, I have given it as an I button, please do watch it. Now let's discuss the requirements and the dimensions for making a fuselage of RC aircraft. The requirements for making the fuselage of RC aircraft are Coro sheet and a square tube aluminium rod. The dimensions of a Coro sheet of length 45 cm and the breadth of 18 cm. The dimension of square tube rod is 50 cm length. Now divide this Coro sheet into three segments as 6 cm equally. These products links are given in the description box. Now let's move on to the fabrication part. Now the fuselage part is over. The front part of the fuselage is fabricated using coroplast sheet and the rear part of the fuselage is made using square tube aluminium rod. In the front portion you see there is a wooden piece which is used to mount the motor. Now the fuselage section is over. Next we are going to move to the tail section. Next we are moving on to the Take portion of the RC aircraft. First, we are going to fabricate the horizontal stabilizer of the RC aircraft. This is the main outline of the horizontal stabilizer. Cut it according to the shape. This is the wing used in RC aircraft. This is, these are the control surfaces called as CAD rods, which is used to roll the RC aircraft. The design and fabrication of the wing will be shown in the coming videos. Now the fabrication part is over. You see, this is a fuse latch, and this is a motor mount. This is the remaining body, and this is the tail portion of the aircraft. Now we are moving on to the connections. Now this is the motor. We are going to fix it in the motor mount. What is in the front? Now the motor mount is fixed. Next, we are going to connect to the AC. The face wire to the face wire. The positive wire to the positive. And the negative to the negative wire. The other end is left free and it has to be connected to the battery. Now, this three pin wire is to be connected. Three wire is to be connected to the channel 3 like this. The white wire should be facing up. 
next this is called servo motor this is used to rotate in the 90 degrees this is used to actuate the tail part that is the elevator part of the RC aircraft to take off and to land now this is called the servo motor this is used to actuate the elevator portion that is to take off and land that is to pitch up and pitch down the elevator and this white color is called as a servo arm and the other end which is fixed in the elevator this is called as servo horns this is and this is a control rod this is used to connect from servo arm to the servo horn like this so that when it moves the elevator actuates like this Today in this video, we have watched how to fabricate an RC aircraft using simple connections. I will catch you up with some new interesting topics in the next video. If you like this video, please like, share, comment and subscribe and press the bell icon for regular updates. Until then, it is Afraid signing off from Mr. Fly. Thank you.